reprieve to public at large, government permits, opening of non-essential goods and services. The number of COVID-19 cases in the country climbs to 24,942, death toll rises to 779. Average doubling rate of COVID cases increases to 9.1 in India, records lowest daily growth rate since the country crossed 100 cases. Swamo Assam Cabinet Minister, Governor of Bihar and Tripura, Devananda Kumar passes away. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in the 64th episode of Man Ki Baat program tomorrow. Good evening viewers, welcome to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Ashutosh Sharma now with the details. In a reprieve to the public at large, government has permitted the shops providing non-essential goods and services to open from today. The exemption has also not been given to shops in marketplaces, multi-brand and single brand malls located in municipality areas, coronavirus hotspots and containment areas. Home Ministry today clarified that all shops in rural areas except those in shopping malls are allowed to open. In urban areas, all standalone and neighborhood shops and shops in residential complexes are allowed to be open. Sale of liquor and other items continues to be prohibited as specified in the National Directive for COVID-19 Management. Meanwhile, no shops will be permitted to open in hotspots and containment zones. Amending its April 15th order, the Home Ministry said the shops will mandatorily have 50% strength of workers wearing masks and social and follow social distancing. वहाँ पर कुछ प्रकार की दुकानों को खोलने की अनुमति है, जैसे कि नेबरहुड शॉप्स, अड़ोस पड़ोस में जो दुकानें होती हैं, रेजिडेंशियल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस, यानी कि आवासीय परिसर में जो दुकान है, या जो स्टैंड अलोन दुकान है, जिसके आसपास और दुकानें नहीं हैं। जो आपता प्रबंधन अधिनियम के अंतर्गत जो गृह मंत्रालय के आदेश हैं, वे सभी राज्य सरकारों के लिए अनिवार्य हैं। राज्य सरकार इन आदेशों को डाइल्यूट नहीं कर सकती। इनमें जो प्रतिबंध लगाए गए हैं the number of COVID-19 cases in the country has climbed to 24,942, while the death toll rose to 779. Health Ministry data said as many as 5,209 people have been cured or discharged and one person has migrated. Maharashtra recorded the highest number of cases, tolling up to 6,817, followed by Gujarat at 2,815 and Delhi by 2,514 cases. Death toll in Maharashtra is 301, followed by 127 in Gujarat, 92 in Madhya Pradesh and 53 in Delhi. In the United States, the death toll due to coronavirus pandemic crossed the 50,000 mark today. According to John Hopkins University, in the last 24 hours, 3,176 people have died from the virus in the U.S. Globally, the COVID-19 cases have exceeded 2.7 million, with more than 1,92,000 dead, the university said. The grim news comes as part of the as parts of U.S. reopened after weeks of lockdown that has crippled the world's largest economy. The U.S. accounted for nearly a third of the total number of cases, exceeding 8,69,000 and over a quarter of the fatalities with 50,031. It is one of the highest recorded numbers of death anywhere in the world since the pandemic began in central China's Wuhan city last year. The average doubling rate of COVID-19 cases in the country is 9.1 per day as of now and from today Friday 8 a.m. to Saturday 8 a.m. India recorded a 6% growth in new cases, which is the lowest daily growth rate recorded since the country crossed 100 cases, the government said on Saturday. The 13th meeting of the high-level group of ministers GOM on COVID-19 was held under the chairmanship of Union Health Minister Harshwardhan. The GOM was briefed on state-wise details of dedicated COVID-19 hospitals along with adequacy of isolation beds and wards. PPE kits, N95 masks, drugs and ventilators, oxygen cylinders amongst others, the health ministry said. The GOM was informed that domestic manufacturers which were identified earlier have already started producing PPE kits and masks and that adequate quantity of the same was available. 
Former Assam Cabinet Minister, Governor of Bihar and Tripura, Devananda Komar, passed away today at his Rukmini Gao residence at Guwahati. He was 87 years old. The cremation of former Cabinet Minister Komar will be held at his ancestral home at Netai Pukhuri in Shiv Sagar. The Governor, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, in his condolence message said that the former minister worked tirelessly for the uplift of society. Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal also extended his condolences to the bereaved family. The initial results of limited trials of plasma therapy treatment have been positive and encouraging in India. The therapy was conducted in limited hospitals across India. Covalescent plasma therapy is an experimental procedure for COVID-19 patients. In this treatment, plasma from a COVID-19 patient who has recovered from the disease is transfused into a coronavirus patient who is in critical condition. The idea behind this therapy is that immunity can be transferred from a healthy person to a sick patient using convalescent plasma. For plasma therapy, doctors need plasma from COVID-19 patients who have already recovered. Positive results of limited trials of plasma therapy treatment give a ray of hope to seriously ill corona patients. ICMR has recently allowed states to start clinical trials. COVID-19 patients. Fluid part jo hota hai, usko plasma bolte hai. Uske andar antibodies develop hote hai. वो एंटीबॉडीज अगर हम पेशेंट को देते हैं तो वो उसका बचाने का काम कर सकता है तो वो थेरेपी है जो प्लाज्मा की जो पेशेंट को बचाने वाला है उसको प्लाज्मा थेरेपी बोलते हैं प्लाज्मा में हम सिर्फ प्लाज्मा लेते हैं बाकी का ब्लड पेशेंट डोनर को वापस चढ़ा देते हैं सो फार प्लाज्मा थेरेपी हैज शोन पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट्स एंड इफ प्रूवन राइट Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people of the country and abroad in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio tomorrow. It will be the 64th episode of the monthly radio program. It will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doordarshan and also on All India Radio news website www.newsonair.com and News on Air mobile app. It will also be streamed live on the YouTube channels of All India Radio, DD News, PMO, and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. All India Radio will broadcast the program in regional languages version and will be repeated at eight in the evening. People of the Islamic community are observing the first day of the holy month of Ramzan across the country today. Shahi Imam of Delhi, Delhi's Jama Masjid, announced the sighting of moon last evening. Several Muslim clerics, leaders, scholars and religious organizations have appealed to offer prayers and do the rituals by staying in homes, adhering to social distancing norms. Paying heed to the demand of the fourth state, the Assam government today began testing corona frontline warriors, brave journalists who have been consistently covering the spread in the state. Around 50 journalists across the city were tested for corona so far at Guwahati Medical College Hospital. Minister for Health and Family Welfare of Sikkim, Dr. M.K. Sharma, inaugurated the mobile testing booth at Rangpo today. It was informed that the booth was donated by Krishna Rai, spouse of the Chief Minister. The Minister was accompanied by DG Kam Secretary Health, CMO East, Director Monitoring and Tracking, Director CMS, Officers of Engineering Section Health, Officers from District Hospital Singtam, Team IEC and MO and his team from Rangpo, PHC, SDM Rangpo, SD. PO, SHO and officers in line departments, the team made a joint inspection of Rangpo check post and Goli ground which has been identified as the tentative screening site once the lockdown is lifted. The Meghalaya government has decided to provide relief to certain services from the purview of the lockdown which was imposed till May 3rd to combat COVID-19 pandemic. In line with this, two separate orders have been issued, one meant specific to Shillong and the other for the rest of the state, agglomerations and areas falling under Myliam C and RD block. Referring to the order issued by the rest of the state, Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong said that the construction of roads, irrigation projects, buildings and operation of all kinds of MSMEs and projects in industrial estates in rural areas will be allowed with effect from April 24, while for Shillong agglomeration services provided by self-employed persons like electricians, IT repairs, plumbers, Motor mechanics and carpenters will start functioning. Online food delivery service have already resumed since April 23rd. 
Government has declared banking industry as a public utility se service for six months till October 21 under the provisions of the Industrial Disputes Act. Bringing back banking services under the provision of this act means that the banking sector would not see any strikes by employees or officers during the operation of the law starting from April 21. In a circular Department of Financial Services said, the Labor and Employment Ministry through a notification has declared banking industry as a public utility service for six months. The notification was issued by the Labor Ministry against the backdrop of the coronavirus pandemic which has significantly impacted economic activities. Now the weather report. Satellite imagery over the northeast shows that thunderstorm accompanied by strong winds is likely to occur at isolated places of the region during the next 24 hours. The temperatures recorded today at some of the state capitals of the region are as follows. Quantity recorded a maximum of 26.6 degrees Celsius and minimum of 17.6 degrees Celsius. Itanaga 23.8 and 17.4. Koima 20 and 11.4. Infal 26 and 15.3. Aizal 24.6 and 15.2. Agatala 32 and 20.4 Shillong 18 and 12 And Gangtok recorded a maximum of 14 degrees Celsius and minimum of 10 degrees Celsius Before we wind up the bulletin, a recap of the headlines Repeat to public at large, government permits opening of non-essential goods and services Number of COVID-19 cases in the country climbs to 24,942. Death toll rises to 779. Average jump rate of COVID-19 cases increases to 9.1 in India, records lowest daily growth rate since the country crossed 100 cases. Former Assam Cabinet Minister, the Governor of Bihar and Tripura, Dev Devananda Kumar, passes away. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in the 64th episode of Man Ki Baat program tomorrow. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.